Good afternoon. I need to share what the Lord has been dealing with me with for the past week. I'm feeling some urgency in the spirit. Maybe people like to pan on it, but I have to obey God. And I just want to share what God has given me. I pray that the, that the people will hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church. What God has been dealing with me with is about the church of Laodicea in the book of Revelation chapter 3 when God talk, when God is talking about the seven different churches. So he want me to talk about this in a sense of we being the church, your personal church, even the houses of God. But he's saying your personal church. This is what I heard the Lord say. He wants me to read Revelation chapter 3 verses 15 and 16. For he says, I know all the things you do. I know your deeds. That you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you were one or the other. Because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold. I am about to spit you out of my mouth. I just read Revelation chapter 3 verses 15 and 16. And what the Lord has been dealing with me with is how uh, some of his people are lukewarm. The Lord says that you need to choose. It's either or. There's no in between. God says that you cannot serve two masters. I'm going to say that again. You cannot serve two masters. No one can serve two masters. This is what the Bible says. No one can serve two masters. It says that you will either love the one or hate the other. Or you can either be devoted to the one and despise the other. God also wants me to let you know that you cannot eat from the table of the Lord and eat from the table. You, I'm sorry. You cannot drink from the cup of the Lord and drink from the cup of demons too. He also wanted me to say that you cannot eat at the table of the Lord and eat at the table of devils, devils too. There's no in between. You have to choose. The Bible says to choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. And I have to ask you a question. Who are you going to serve on today as of August 28, 2023? You need to make a choice. We have too many people in the body of Christ, people that are professing salvation, people that they say they belong to God, people that they that say they love God, that have not made a decision. God is drawing the line in the sand right now. You're either for the Lord or you're for the enemy. You're either for the Lord or you're serving other gods. And the Lord is the true living God. Anything other than Jesus Christ is a false God. That is a different God. God want me to ask you this question. He said, how long, how long Will you halt? How long will you waver between two opinions? This is what Elijah asked all the people in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. I'm going to read that. Elijah came unto all the people and said, how long will you halt? Some versions say, how long will you waver? Some versions say, how long will you limp between two opinions or two sides? If the Lord be God, then follow him. If Baal be God, then you follow Baal. But you have to make a choice. This is what the Lord wanted me to share. There's no hot or cold. There's no in between. God says that many people are lukewarm and he is about to spit you out of his mouth. That is a bold statement. That he's about to spit you out of your spit you out of his mouth if you're a lukewarm Christian, if you're a lukewarm, carnal-minded believer, a person who professes to say they love God. Listen, the Bible says in St. John chapter 14 and 15, I believe that is, it says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. God is saying, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. What are God's commandments? He summed it up. He said that you will love you, that you will love the Lord thy God with all of your heart, with all 
all of your soul, with all of your mind, and that you will love your neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself. Listen, we got a lot of people that saying, I love God, I praise God, I worship God, I honor God. God's in my heart. He knows my heart. He loves me. Listen, if you love me, if it's conditional, he's saying, look, if you really love me to say the way you say that you love me, you're going to do what I say do. You're going to obey me. You're going to uh, be intentional about living up to my standards. You're going to be intentional about trying to live holy. You're going to be intentional about doing the things that God has called you to do. Because once you got saved, it, it is no longer your life. We were bought with a price. We belong to God. So God want me to ask you on today, how long? How long will you waver between serving him and holding on to those things that you like that are in the world? You know, the Bible says that the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. It is of the world. God says to choose. He said, choose ye this day who you are going to serve. You can't have both. You can't have both. If you haven't chosen, you've already made a decision. If you haven't chosen the Lord, you've already made a decision. I'm going to read some things that God had uh, shared with me that I put down. He said, many people aren't making time for me. They say they love me, but they don't make time for me. God wanted me to say this. He said, many of you will go on these jobs. You will work eight hour shifts. You will work 12 hour shifts. You won't complain. You won't tell your employer. You won't tell the manager what you won't do. As a matter of fact, some of you do complain about your job, but you still show up at that job. God said, you, you won't even make time for me. He, he said, you love me, but you won't make time for me. You, you won't set out time to pray. You won't set out time to read my word, but you say we're in a relationship. God says that you need to choose this day. Listen, this word depends on somebody's life on today. God is tired of people playing. God is not playing, shucking, and jiving. We, we plan with the Lord. God said, choose ye this day. Listen, before this month, before this month of August is out, you, may, you need to make a decision. If you're for God, be on the Lord's side. If you're going to do the things of this world and serve the devil, be on the enemy side. This is what the Lord is saying. He said, you don't make time for me. You say you love me, but you don't make time for me. You don't complain when you go on that job. He said, look, I blessed you with that job. I gave you the resources for that job, but you won't make time for me. And you say you love me. When you say you love someone, you spend time with them. Your, your, your actions show how much they love you, how much they appreciate you. And God said, many of you don't love me. You, you, you have lip service. He, he said, you have lip service, but your heart is far from me. You don't really love me. He said, many of you all are truth breakers. I heard this on this morning. Many people are truth breakers. It said that in the book of Timothy, God, God is saying that many of you are truth breakers. This is what I heard the Lord say. You have broken covenant with me. You've committed adultery on me. God said, many of you treat me like we're friends with benefits. You want the benefits of God, but you really don't love me. We're not in a relationship. God said, my sheep know my voice. He said, in a stranger, they will not follow. I want to read this. This is what the Lord wanted me to say. I'm just the messenger. Amen. You got to take it up with God, but this is going to be confirmation for some people. It says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, but understand this, that in the last days, there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unpeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, that's arrogance and prideful, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Listen, we're in these times right now. People are having more 
full with their pleasures, with their desires than God. People that push God to the side. He said, listen, you lukewarm. You lukewarm. You like the church of Laodicea. I'm not just talking about the church building, but I'm talking about your church. You are the church. God said it's time to do a self-examination because we got people who think they belong to God and God said, I don't even know you. He said, I don't even know you. It says that in the Bible that many will say, Lord, Lord, did not prophesy in your name, did not preach in your name. Many, many, many people going to say, I healed in your name, Lord. Lord, I went to church every day. Lord, I served you. But he going to say, I didn't know you. I don't even know you. Can you imagine you, 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 you had a friend, you guys ate dinner together. Y'all talked on the phone and they just out the blue said, I don't know you. You're you going to look at them like they're crazy. What, what you mean you don't know me? We spent time together. We, we did this together. God going to say, I didn't know you. You, you. you just mentioned my name, but I really didn't know you. You didn't know me. We, 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 we didn't build a covenant relationship together. We didn't have a relationship. And this is what the Lord wants me to say, you got to make a decision. You can't serve God and mammon. Many people are serving their money. We, we got all kind of idols out here, but we say we love God. God said, I will have no other God before me. He said, I'm a jealous God. We're spending more time in relationships, trying to please people. We, we, we're pleasing our jobs. God say, God say, some of you can't even sit in church without looking at your clock. You want to know what time service is going to be over. You can't even sit in the presence of God for a lengthy period of time, but you don't need jobs. You're not complaining. Some of you stand on your feet for 12 hours on your job. You working in warehouses. Some of you working at job, you ain't complaining. You, you're not telling the boss, uh, I think I've been standing up too long. I think I've been doing this job too long. It's time for me to go. No, because you're looking for a paycheck. But you are building a paycheck when it comes to God. It's an eternal paycheck. It's, it's eternal life paycheck. You know, the Bible talks about how, you know, when we build our treasures on things that are spiritual, the wrath and the rust won't take over it. But, but, this, but this stuff down here is temporary. All this stuff down here is temporary. We're, we're just pilgrims passing through this earth. This, 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 this earth is not our home, you guys. This is not our home. I did a video the other day talking about, you know, either when you die or when rapture take place, are you going to be ready? Listen, God is not playing. God wanted me to talk about this. He even told me to share this. I wrote some things down. He said, my leaders, he said, my leaders can't compromise. We can't be afraid to tell the truth. I want to go back to the book of Timothy because God wants me to talk about this. He told me to, before I talk about Timothy, this is what I also wrote down. God gave me Hosea chapter four, verse six. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They're not destroyed just because they don't have the knowledge. This is what he said. We don't finish this verse. He said, because you have rejected knowledge. He said, I also will reject you from being priest for me because you have forgotten the law of your God. I also will forget your children. Why did I read that verse? Because I want to tie it in with, with 2 Timothy where it says, for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will, who will tell them whatever their itchy ears want to hear. We're in those times right now. People don't want to hear the truth. People get offended when, when, when they get rebuked. People get offended when somebody call out they sin. What is the favorite thing we hear? You can't judge me. Ain't nobody perfect. Listen, the Bible says... To be ye holy, for I am holy. The Bible also says that God will perfect those things that concern us. Are you being intentional about walking this, this, this walk, this daily walk of Christ? Are you being intentional? Because if we are being intentional, 
God would not ask us to do something that he feel we were incapable of doing. God know that we're capable, even though we in this flesh. Yes, all have sinned. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But you should not be practicing, wallowing in your mess, playing with it. This is what the Lord also wanted me to tie in. When the serpent was talking to Eve, I'm not focusing on Eve. I'm just focusing, I'm bringing this point out to say how the enemy would do many of us. When the Lord commanded Adam and Eve, telling them they can eat of every tree but that one tree. And the serpent said to Eve, you shall not surely die. He said, you shall not surely die. How many people is the enemy doing that to? Surely God not going to mind you, you know, having a little sex out of marriage. Surely God ain't going to mind that. He's he not going to mind you playing. You, you know, you, you say, God going to forgive you. Sh surely God didn't mean that like that. Surely, listen, surely it's okay to, to, to get drunk behind closed doors. It, it's okay. Listen, God going to forgive you. It's okay. Listen, surely God didn't mean it when he said you're not going to inherit the kingdom of, of God if you do this, 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 or that. He didn't mean it like that. Do you know how many people the enemy is deceiving? Do you realize how many people the enemy is deceiving when the word of God is telling us God, God didn't have nothing in the contract? God told us if we do this, this is what's going to happen. If we do that, this is what's going to happen. Listen, this, this ain't no play thing, you guys. We got to make a decision. If you're going to be on the Lord's side, choose Jesus. Choose the Lord. Like Elijah told the people. He said, if the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal be God, follow him. And it said in the scripture that the people answered him not. How many people going to be wishy-washy saints? I say this all the time. It was a game called jump in, jump out, jump side to side, jump on, jump in, jump out. We got a lot of people jumping in God. Then one day they jumping out of God. Then one day they jumping back in God. One day they jumping out. Listen, I'm going to say it again. How long? I'm talking, we even got people that are seasoning God. Listen, been in church for years and you still playing with God? You're not learning nothing when you go to church. Listen, we can get up and go to these jobs. We can get up and go to these jobs, but we'll be lazy about getting ready to go to the house of God. I can understand if you're in a hospital. I can understand if you have a serious medical condition that hinders you from going to the building. You hear people say, oh, I ain't got to go to church to, you know, I ain't got to go to church to hear God. You're you right. You, you should have a personal sanctuary. But my Bible tells me to forsake not the assembly of coming together. You need a pastor. You need a covering. You need a covering. God forbid if you die, who's going to eulogize you? Who's going to eulogize you? You don't have a shepherd. You, 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 you a bastard then. Yes, the Bible talks about that. You are a bastard if you're out here without a covering. You need a covering. God gave us shepherds for a reason. You don't know it all. Listen, God said, a lot of people are lukewarm. A lot of people doing all kind of things behind closed doors. They playing with God. Listen, God is not playing, you guys. Hear ye the word of the Lord on today. People about to drink the cup of judgment because God's been given space. God's been given time for you to make a decision. Many people are in a, back, a backslidden state and they don't even know it. They in a backslidden state and they think they fully with God. God said, I don't know you. You left the relationship a long time ago. You start serving other gods. You start listening to stuff that you want to hear because you didn't want to hear the truth. Listen, we got to stop justifying the word. We, 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 got, we got to stop getting offended and getting upset when somebody call you out. That is, listen, you want to be held accountable for, for your deeds. You want to be held accountable when somebody see you about to hit a brick wall. You want to be held accountable. Hear me on today. 
Hear me. If you're not serving God, the devil is your daddy. I know you don't want to hear that. It is the truth. If you're not serving God, the devil is your daddy. That's your daddy. You've chosen. God say, choose ye this day, August 29, 2023, who you will serve. It's time out for playing. It's been time out for playing. Listen, leaders, God, when God give you a word, you can't worry about the numbers. You can't worry about who going to lead. You need to be more concerned about the person's soul. Listen, their soul going to hell. Their soul going to eternal damnation. You got to do what God called you to do. You can't be worried about they going to get mad at me. You got to obey God. If God give you a word, you don't know who life you about to say. You don't know who about to die and they need to hear the truth. Give people the truth. Don't be that teacher that Timothy is talking about. That they run into these different teachers who are going to tell them what they want to hear. They want to hear a, a sugar message. They, they want to hear a sound good message. They don't want to hear you shouldn't be sleeping around. They don't want to hear about sexual immorality. They don't want to hear about discipleship. They don't want to hear about things you need to let go of so that your temple can be clean. God, this, God said in his word, who shall ascend into heaven? And it says, he that have clean hands and a pure heart. Listen, don't have that blood on your hands. Don't have that blood on your hands. God has told many of you to warn people. God has told many of you to say stuff to people. And you were scared. You were worried about what they're going to say. And the blood is on your hands. God said if they die and they sin, and you don't tell them what I require of you to say, he said it's going to be on you if they die and they sin. I'm going to hold you accountable because I told you what to tell them. I told you what to tell that deacon. I told you what to tell that other pastor. I told you what to tell that, that leader at your church. I told you what to tell that young lady. I told you what to tell that young man. And you didn't tell them. You didn't release my word. You didn't tell them the truth. God said, I'm holding you accountable. Amen. He said, lukewarm. God is about to spit people out of his mouth. He's about to spit people out of his mouth. He said it. He said it in his words, you guys. He said, people have rejected me. It said in verse 4 of, of 2 Timothy chapter 3, they will reject the truth and chase after myths. People are chasing after witchcraft. People, listen, we've been talking about the signs and wonders of God. The signs and wonders of God. Some of this stuff ain't signs and wonder. Some of this stuff is strange fire. God said I'm not in some of this stuff. He said I'm not in it. People chasing after myths. They chasing after sage. They chasing after witches and warlocks. All kind of people on YouTube. You better go out the sound doctrine. You better get you a covering. Listen to me. You need a covering. You need a covering. God is not playing. Listen, people about to get, they about to check out of here, you guys. I'm telling you what the Spirit of the Lord want me to share on today. Some people about to check out of here because they are not doing what God has called them to do. Some people have blood on their hands. Some people have led people astray. And God say that it's time to pay the consequences. Listen. God is not playing. God is not playing. He said, you got to get a prayer life. I was reading Psalms chapter 91 on this morning. When God, I said, look at all these promises in Psalms chapter 1. God said, if you dwell in the secret place, people aren't dwelling. The church is not praying. Your church, how many of you have an altar in your church? Listen. God said it is not just the responsibility of the church on Sunday to get you where you need to be. Once you go to church on Sunday, you have a personal responsibility on Monday. You have a personal responsibility on Tuesday. You have a personal responsibility on Wednesday. You have a personal responsibility on Thursday. You have a personal responsibility on Friday, on Saturday, and even on Sunday when you get from church to make sure that you are doing what you are supposed to do so you can walk up right. Some of you don't open your Bible to you at church. Some of you don't even bring your Bible. You depend on these audios. You depend on them television screens. Listen, bring your Bible to church. You should be bringing your Bible. So even if they got the television up, you're following along with what's being presented. You don't know if it's true or not. 
You're not even reading the Bible. How can you live a life of godliness if you're not doing what you're supposed to do spiritually? The Bible says if we walk in the spirit, we should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We can overpower this flesh when we digest the things of the spirit. If you're eating all this fleshly stuff, if you're carnal minded, yes, you're going to struggle with godliness. Yes, you're going to struggle with walking in holiness because you're not putting in your temple the things that the spirit needs so you can overpower that flesh because the bible says that the spirit and the flesh war on a daily basis but we can overcome this flesh when we put those things in our spirit besides just on sunday when like i said we have a personal responsibility we gotta put these things in our spirit the bible says that the holy ghost will bring all things back to our remembrance we can't we nothing can come back to our remembrance and we're not digesting it you guys listen we gotta tell the truth we got to hold people accountable. I don't want people in my life that if they see me doing wrong, that they don't pull me to the side and say, look, Sheila, you got to get it together. Listen, you about to head down dangerous grounds. Listen, we're, we, we're in a time now where if you correct people, they get mad. And the thing about it, they know they doing wrong. They know they lying and they still get mad. Something is wrong, you guys. We say we believers. We say we the body of Christ. Something is wrong if we can't hear the truth or we get offended. Well, everybody ain't messed up. You you was one. Hold on. Why, 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 what, what they got to do with anything? You guys, when we want to hold on to our mess, we find a way to justify it. I don't care who don't like this message, you guys. I know God got my back. I got to tell the truth. Because I would rather you be mad at me than God. Excuse my dog. That's a distraction. Listen. We can't be playing with church, y'all. We can't be playing with church. We cannot be playing with God. It's, it's time out. You either for the Lord or you're not. You either serving God or you're not. Listen. This is what's deep to me. When God was talking about the church of Lysa Decia. This is the part that blew me away. When, 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 G, when, when God said, I wish that you were one or the other. God got enough respect. He know we got free will. He said, look, I wish that you would either be for me or, or not be for me. J, j, just, he just can't get with this in between. You, you, you can't be in church one day and then you clubbing. Then you clubbing. You got people on casino boats. They're they not trusting the system of God. They're not trusting the way God say do it, and they'll get mad at you. They get mad at you. Listen, if you're a leader, if you're a pastor, if you are in a position where you speak the word of God, hear ye the word of the Lord. You have to tell the truth. If people get mad, that's because you hit a nerve. That's because you hit something, and that demon got mad on the inside of them. You got to tell the truth. Some of you got to tell the truth. The Bible says, what does light and darkness have? They don't have fellowship together. That verse don't mean that you, that you big and bad and you can't be around unbelievers to minister to them. An unbeliever should not be your best friend and you know they live in a certain life. I didn't say you can't be nice to them, but something is wrong when your buddies are doing things contrary to the word of God but you say you belong to God. Some of y'all going to have to cut some people off. Some of you all going to have to hurt some people's feelings. Listen, some people going to have to walk away, but you got to make a decision, you guys. You got to make a decision. We got to take inventory of our life. Listen, some of you guys, you got kids in the house. You got to set, you got to set order in your home. You got to set order in your home. My Listen, my daughter already know. We, we, certain things, you, you ain't playing in my house. As for me and my house, we serving the Lord. Now look, when you get old and get your own place, and I know I ain't trained you up, you, gotta, you can do what you want to do. But in my house, I'm not inviting witches in my house. I'm not, you know, inviting demonic altars in my home. Listen, I try to keep my home a house of peace. I try to keep my house a house of prayer. We got to make a choice. It don't matter what your title is. 
It don't matter how high you are in God. It don't matter if you a preacher. It don't matter if you a prophet. It don't matter if you an evangelist. It don't matter if you the arch ain't the, the archbishop or whoever, all these titles. It didn't say, listen, it don't matter what denomination you are. Listen, you need to make a de decision. We got people from high levels on down doing things. God said, look, I know your deeds. I know what you're doing behind closed doors. I know what you're doing when people ain't, ain't looking. You think you're getting away with it. You think you're getting away with it. God said, you need to make a choice. You need to make a choice this day whom you're going to serve. I'm going to say this too. No one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one or despise the other. We got to get to a place where we love what God love and we hate what God hate. We got to love what God love and hate what God hate, hates. If you love me, if you love me, I didn't say this, God work. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. You will keep my commandments. You're not going to sit here and, and, and justify. You're not going to sit here and try to come up with excuses to not live right. This is what I also have to say. I believe it's the last thing I have to say. God summed up the commandments. He said to love the Lord thy God with all, all of your heart. God said many of you are lukewarm. He said, I don't even have your heart. I don't have your whole heart. He said, many of you need to make a decision on today to surrender everything to God. Everything. I want everything. I want everything. I want everything. Give up everything you like. Give up everything. I want you to give it all up. I, if you ain't giving it all up, I don't have you. I don't know you. If I don't get it all, you're not fully committed to God. If you don't give it all to God, you're not totally in God. I'm telling you, God says surrender it all. The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel that God wants to take the stony heart away and give you a heart of flesh. It says in the book of Ezekiel, because when I give you that heart of flesh, this heart of flesh will cause you to walk in my ordinances, to walk in my statutes. We got to get that new heart from God. He said, I want to give you a new spirit. I want to give you a new heart. Many of you need to rededicate your life to God. Many of you need to come back to God. God said, I am married to the backslider. Many of you have back, are in a backslidden state. You in a backslidden state. If you listen to this message, some of you are going to confirm you are in a backslidden, backslidden state. And it, it happened so quick. It happened so subtle that you didn't even realize you in a backslidden state. You, you in turn from God. The Bible says, what does it profit a man? What does it profit a man to gain all of this world that's going to pass away eventually and lose your soul? You can't live any kind of way and, and expect to go to heaven. You guys, that's the, the Bible says that. Listen, you can't live any kind of way and, and think you're going to heaven. You know, when people die, we put everybody in heaven. We, we don't know. You guys. It's going to be people that you think going to make it in. And God going to say, I never knew you. You had a form of godliness. You went to church. You, you raised your hands. You spoke in tongues. You had a form of godliness. I didn't know you. We didn't have a relationship because your life didn't depict that. Your actions didn't depict that. Your love walk didn't depict that. Amen. God say time out now. God is holding us accountable. Listen, God is holding us accountable. He said my leaders would be beaten with many stripes, you guys, when you know the truth, when you know the way, when you know the way and don't go that way, your punishment going to be harsh. I'm telling you, when you know the right thing to do and you choosing not to do it, nobody is going to leave this earth. Nobody can leave this earth and say they did not get an opportunity to know about Jesus Christ. That's not the kind of God we serve. Anybody, before you leave this earth, you're going to have an opportunity to make a decision. To make a decision. God said either or. You either.
either or. The either or. I'm going to keep saying it. You're either or. You're either for God, on the right side of God, you a sheep, or he don't know you. And goats don't follow after God. Goats are stubborn. Goats are prideful. They don't want to hear the truth. They reject knowledge. They reject truth. Too many of us are rejecting truth, saying we know God. You following a doctrine that ain't even of God, but you say you know God. You guys, I got to tell the truth. We got people mingling in divination, saying they know God. You burning sage. You wishing stuff on people. You, you mixing and mingle darkness with, with the Lord. No, you in between. You don't know him. The devil is your daddy. The devil is your daddy. Hear me on today. The devil is your daddy. If you mingling. If you in between, if you if you on the rope, you can't be on the rope. Jump in, jump out, jump side to side, jump on the rope. You you own no. You either in or you out. You either for God or you're not. You either walking in holiness or you're not. You you either you know trying to avoid sin or you in it. You, you guys, I gotta tell the truth. This is what the Lord wanted me to say. He said, because many people have a form of godliness. We, we got entertainment in the church now. You guys, sometimes, listen, we got to get back to holiness. God also wanted me, me to say, we got to be mindful. In the book of, of Ecclesiastes, it said, be mindful how you enter into the house of God. Watch your footstep. We got people, they'll do anything in the church now. People gossip in the church. Right in that, it, you know, God's church is holy, you guys. For your feet is standing on holy ground. I don't care who talk about me, y'all. I don't care if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm doing this by myself. It's a straight and narrow path, you guys. It said, wide is the gate that leads to destruction. Narrow is the way that, that leads to, to, to life everlasting, you guys. I'm choosing to do the right thing, you guys. I, I don't care who get upset. I don't care if I lose family members. I don't care if I lose friends. I don't care if people feel you too deep. I don't think I'm deep. I just understand the contract, you guys. I understand the contract. I understand the contract. I don't want to play with God, you all. If, if I'm going to play with God... I might as well just close the book. Don't even go to church on Sunday. Don't even do prayer, none of that. I might as well just go out here and party. I'm not going to play with God like that. I mean business with God. I really wholeheartedly mean business with God. Like, I love God, you guys. I talk about the Lord more than on Sundays. When I'm out here on my, on my job, I'm talking about Jesus to people. Because, you know, we, we should feel like the Lord. It's not his will that any man perish. I don't want to see nobody perish. I don't want to see nobody go to hell. You know how many people have died and didn't know Christ? You know how many young people have died, have been gunned down, have lost their life and did not know the Lord? That should vex your spirit, you guys. I don't care if it's your worst enemy. You, know, you shouldn't want nobody to go to hell forever. You guys, forever. Never ending. Just, just to think on that, you guys, never ending. You, you just, you, if, if you wanted to stop living in heaven, you couldn't. Because he said forever. Forever and ever and ever. Never, ever ending. This is what I had to share. I pray that something that I said minister to your spirit. I'm just a messenger, you all. I had to release what the Lord had given me. Because God said, how long? Will you waver between two opinions? He said, if the Lord be God, follow him. If Baal be God, then follow him. That's in, Baal represents anything other than God. Your false gods, your idols, listen, God is not playing. But just know this, whatever decision you make, there's a consequence. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I pray that you guys will pray my strength in the Lord and that you all have a blessed day. Amen.